There she is. Tell me what you think. But that'll help keep uh, stuff off of the uh, exhaust as far as mine from my boots and everything. Well, they call me Big Hurt. And on this channel, you will see basic motorcycle install videos, wind therapy, vlogging. Just our motorcycle life. Enjoying each other's company and meeting new people and going to new places. My adventurous side exploring life with my not so adventurous wife. But we enjoy doing things together and it's a match made in heaven. Hey, welcome back guys. Here with another install video. Uh, I done done some work to the heart of today. I wanted to do an install trying to get this bike ready for Daytona which uh, me and the wife wife will be heading down. We're actually coming down, I think, what is it, the fifth? It's then all the way through that second part of the bike week. But yeah, what I got going on today, I'm gonna be installing, and I've been talking about it and been thinking about it, I've had it for a minute, the rider footboard guard, heel guard. But what that is gonna do is basically it mounts right here. Should be a straightforward install, but it mounts right here that way take a chance or don't take a chance of actually hitting your soles or anything actually on your hot exhaust and of course this is the heat shields but hitting on the heat shields and melting and having to deal with that rubber so of course like i always do i got my table ready got it out i already got part of the tools i know i'm gonna need which is to take the floorboard off is a 5 16th Allen head. So let's get started. Like I said, it should be kind of straightforward. First, what I'm going to do, fold that up. And actually, on mine, I actually put uh, spacers on the floorboard just to stick them out some. So let's get it off. There's one, the back spacer. Well, leave her in the plastic, just make sure it don't get too dirty. It's got in directions. And comes with one screw in nut. Alright, what I done there, oh, what I had to do to remove this floorboard, I actually thought it might have been a screw. But what it is, you see these little rubber kind of grommets, I guess you can call it whatever. <coughs> Press in and slowly work your way in and it pops right out actually was a lot easier than i thought it was going to be now what it looks like i'm gonna to have to do for one is remove this screw take that one out because the back of it bolts in there and then i use the other one as a template and mark where i need to drill the hole and then tighten it down and put the floorboard back on or the pad and put the floorboard back on and we good all right so let me get that screw off or screw out this is how it's supposed to look once it gets mounted up all right sure that you actually put the heel guard on top of the bracket or yeah top of the bracket that this floorboard is on put it in front of it run the screw through the heel guard first then the framework of the bracket then of course your this that goes to the bike and then come through the other side and put your nut on the back then you can lay it out mark it like i've done use a sharpie and that is i think it said a 9 30 seconds hole so i'm gonna drill the hole tighten it down then put everything back together That was simple, but this is real thin anyway, so ain't no biggie. Got the hole drilled and going to attach it with the included hard wire that they sent with it. Don't need any uh, Loctite, not on this because it actually comes with a lock nut, nylon nut, whatever you want to call it. All right, I got everything tightened back down as far as the, for the bracket. That's where it's going. Got it tight back here already. So now I'm gonna 
try to shove this back through there and she'll be good on this part and then we just put it back on the bike now i want to show y'all how i'm going to do it i got some needle nose pliers what i'm doing shoving it and then grabbing the rubber and just pulling and i can tell somebody's already had these off before called part of it's already been ripped off so just work your way around a little tedious and time consuming but you'll get it that's what it looks like when you get it back through see got them all pulled back through you got four of them like i said just work your way around what i done put it on there and if i had to i used the floorboard to actually pry it and get it up a little further now we're going to just reattach everything and we should be good to go i'm gonna gotta get my lock tight but since i had everything still in place should go on no problem Get it started. Now I get go back and get my get my five sixteenths to tighten that back up. Well, that's it. Actually, I said it wasn't going to be a long project or install video. It wasn't. I like the way it turned out. Mother, there she is. Tell me what you think. But that'll help keep uh, stuff off of the uh, exhaust as far as mine from my boots and everything. Thanks for tuning in for another install video. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.